Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here, and today we have an exciting video. If y'all have any, if I have any hair on my face, it's because I just gave my boyfriend a haircut because we are still in lockdown. So, and it's his birthday tomorrow. So today I wanted to sit down and have a quick chat about the V Games, which is a mafia smutty trilogy kind of series, and. Let me just tell you, grab yourself a drink because it's a wild ride. I'll try to spoil as little as possible, uh, but tell you as much as I can at the same time. Um, the series is divided into three. So we have Vlad, Van, and Vas. Uh, those are the three books. And we are talking about this Russian mafia lifestyle kind of situation. Vlad was actually recommended by someone else and... I enjoyed it, but I thought it was my least favorite out, out of the three, to be completely honest. So we start with this boy. So we have this, there's different families. So there's like the first families, which they are like the most influential, but they are. By the way, when I talk about these books, I just want you two guys to know that they are not the most ethically correct. They are not things that I support. And a lot of those things I was cringing at. So... Um, don't ever think that I would condone anything that happens in those books because I know that a couple of other girls that I watch here on YouTube and they talk about it, people are like, oh my God, I can't believe this is what you're into. Um, it's just a book. It's a fiction. I would never be into it in real life. So when we have this out of the way, Vlad starts with introduction to the V games happening in the background and he's the winner for his family every year or whenever they happen. There's each one of the first families have someone to fight for them and you basically fight for life. So the first family, um, Vlad's family, basically what they do, they do a lot of drugs, guns, uh, human trafficking, all of that. And then there is another family, one of the first families too, which has two daughters, Diana and Irina. And Diana is supposed to be married to Vlad. Um, they are similar age and in their kind of little universe, the guys are the ones to run the business and the wives are basically just to pop out babies and they are like given away as like a power little move like oh you can have my daughter i'll have shares of your business or now we are kind of in business together because you have my daughter so the women are not very highly regarded in um their kind of um community let's call it we had two boys that have one has been shipped away, the other one has passed away uh, because they were gay. So that does not happen in their kind of lifestyle. So you can have traffic people, they can be having sex with whoever they want to. We have human slaves, like a sexual human slaves in their houses. Wild ride, but being gay is not a thing that it's um, acceptable. So we have this story of, in the first book, in Vlad book, we have the story of Diana and Vlad being very business driven people because Diana, her dad doesn't have a child until later on. Um, we don't find out that there isn't a male heir to his fortune. So she was always the one that was doing all of the business stuff for him. So it's like two heads of, of the families to be supposed to get together. But we have Irina who is a little bit younger and she's always had a crush on Vlad for forever. And, you know, he... He's very protective over her because he likes her too, but he can't admit to it because he still wants to go and, you know, be with Diana for the business because that's how it's supposed to be. And the story unfolds from there. And there is um, a big twist, which I didn't expect. Um, and there's grooming uh, mentioned of, you know, like predator grooming for a child. Uh, disgusting, but obviously in the environment they are in, I was not surprised. Um, and the book is is good. I gave this one like a three star. It was a fine read. It's really quick. They're about 200 pages each. So it's very quick. The second one is Ben, which I kind of don't want to spoil. They can all be read in a different, like you could just read one and be satisfied with it. Um, but I feel like reading all three allow me to already know what is happening, already be introduced to the names because the first one was a lot of names and a lot of kind of things to figure out. It's kind of like the sweethearts, high school sweethearts, it, not even high school because she was like 12 or 14, they were at the time. So the main person in this is a female and it's mostly from her and another dude's perspective. Her and the guy, they've always liked each other, but she's been in this relationship with this a lot older guy and he was grooming her her entire life. And because she brought shame into the family, now she's been kind of like tossed away 
because she is rubbish, but she's been made to compete in the games. And usually it's like, there's going to be a bounty on her head, which is basically going to be like, anyone can torture, rape and kill her. All you got to do is just pay up, you know, $3 million and you can, you can have her. And um, in the games, she's yours to do uh, uh, like whatever you please with her um, as she is fighting for her life. So we kind of have her story of working through everyone thinking that she is nothing and having this, you know, she all of a sudden has this like half brother and he's going to take over the business. She worked through her entire life. She lost the vodka company she had with her sister because now she brought shame to the family. So she's not allowed to do it. So we have her battling with the aftermath of being with someone who uh, was a lot older than her, who she thought that she maybe had feelings for, but realizes that it was just grooming and really wild ride. And that one, I really liked it. She was such a strong female character. She is such a queen and there was some plot twist and she got her revenge the way I wanted it to happen. So there's plot twist. There is, there's a few things that did hit me really hard, but I really, really liked this one. It was such a good female led like in here the female was like i will get my own i'm not just going to be a little pawn for my dad and all of you guys so it was great and then we move into vast which is the last one um and in that one we have this guy he is kind of not out he, he's newly insider to the families and he meets this girl who is like one of the fathers founding fathers He's basically his slave. She is literally walking around the house naked with just a collar in and she's being abused. She's bruised all over, like we we're talking split lips, bruises all over her body. And she's walking around the house naked, like sit at the table like a dog on the floor. And it was driving me insane. But basically, don't want to spoil what exactly happens, but we have this dynamic in here where he feels like he should save her in some sort of way. He has his own reasons. But that girl has her entire life. She's been in a convent with the nuns. So she is all like godly and holy. And she's like, I had I had to have sinned. I was the temptress. It's probably my fault. You know, she is like so sweet. And then we have another female that has been thrown into a games, which the main guy in this book, he is training her to become. And she is like a playboy bunny type, you know, blonde hair, boobalicious. She is very bougie and very all over the top and her and the very uh nunnery kind of girl actually become friends and you can see that dynamic and how the girl who was very sheltered and didn't know anything she really wants to get to know she doesn't hold a grudge to anyone else and it she we find out that she actually has ties to the main families in some sort of way so there's another like a family dynamic and kind of how she comes to her own while the romance is happening. So those are kind of the three plots that happened. Um, I kind of don't want to say the names of who's who because I don't want to spoil everything. But Smut is great. I do think that in a in this in the first book I didn't like how the age the age difference wasn't that bad, but knowing that he fancied her from very early on, I mean like a crush, we all had a crush when we were young, but we were talking a boy almost the age of like 17 or something having a crush on like a 12 year old, like thinking she's pretty or cute, that's fine, but not like you'll be mine one day, you know, that's kind of where I did not like it. In the second one, I didn't like how we all know that guy is going to let you go, but then he's like, you ain't going nowhere. And so like the toxic um, romance kind of thing, like, you know, you're walking away and the guy is going to grab you and kiss you anyways. It's like, that's sexual assault, sir. But with everything that happens in that book, I feel like that's the, the very minimum of the things that I should be concerned about because there are people being killed on the spot. There's humans being sold, you know, like there's worse things to worry about, Cass, okay? So all together, I gave, like, I will give the series, like, good four stars because I think for a smutty romance, it had, again, it's not the most well-written books on the planet, but it had a lot of smut and it was a great smut. And it had quite a good edge to it. The guys were all assholes, but also had, like, re redeemable qualities here and there. But there also was things happening for the females and like friendships and family dynamics. So I really, really like that, how it all was incorporated together. Do I think that it was absolutely sick and their universe is absolutely gross? Yes. 
Um, did I enjoy myself? Absolutely. freaking lovely So if you guys are interested with the V games, let me know. And yes, I will leave a link down below to get it on Amazon if you guys are interested. And let me know if you have read any smutty books recently. So maybe I can read them too. Or we can buddy read next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.